Hey everybody, J and A Review, and today we're here at Triple H RV here in Haleyville, Alabama. Now, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us that thumbs up. Today we're going to be looking at a 2024 Salem Hemisphere by Force River, model number 308 RL. So let's get started. The length on this hemisphere is 38 feet 7 inches. The dry weight is 9,063 pounds. And that hitch weight is a whopping 1,225. Oh my. Yes, this one's a little bit big. Would not suggest pulling it with a half ton. Um, not my Chevy Lube. No, not that one. But now if you're looking for a nice camper with some really good features and good space, this is one to I check out. I would say this is a little luxury here. It is border, uh, I would say borderline luxury model. Um, now here's one side of your pass-through storage. Here's one of your dump areas right here. Now there is some outside storage here. Unfortunately, we don't have a key to it. No. Um, but this is going to be under, under your bed. bed. So we may be able to show it from the inside. Moving right on down. You do, are going to have an outside shower. Uh, your other dump area, all of your hookups are going to be here. Nice big slide here. Moving around to the back. You will see that it is going to be prepped for a backup camera. Your um, sewer well, line caddy is going to be yeah, mounted right there at the back. And this has got a rack here, but it is not for towing. This is going to be an accessory rack for bicycles um, or things like that. Satellite hookups here at the back. LP is right up under. Yes, your quick connect. And you will see that it does have electric stabilizers. Here wow. on your campsite. Nice big windows here on the outside. Is this something new? They squared off the windows. I think that is going to be new for 24. Wow. Um, I noticed some other brands are doing this too, and I really like the squared windows. They look really nice and clean that way. I would say Forest River, they're not playing with these hemispheres now. No, they are not. Wow. Uh, do we know the awning sizes? 12 and 14. 12 and 14, and they yes. are power awnings, and you are going to have lights in them. And this is going to be the other side of your pass-through storage here. Oh, yeah. So, a little motion light? Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, let's go right on inside and take a look at this hemisphere. It's almost be uh, a model that you can just park and leave it for a little bit. Almost. And wow. this is one of those that's um, like a traditional fifth wheel layout. So, okay, we'll start back here. This is going to have a trifold sofa in it. Um, and across the top, you've got uh, four storage areas. Oh, they're on struts. Ah, How about that? Nice. That's neat. So you won't hit yourself in the head when you leave them open. Yeah. Also on each side, you're gonna have um, little end tables, storage on both of those, power and USB, both sides. All See, of these windows open, and I love. That's I love their new style. I love of, these new shades because they are in in the in the frame. Yeah, yes. in the frame. There you go. So you don't have those valances up here that have a tendency to bounce off yeah. <laughs> and collect dust. Ours collects dust, but that's okay. While I'm in this direction, let's just go ahead and do this big slide here across the front. Theater seating. You're gonna have cup holders all the way across. You could. I'm not sure why you need a cup holder on both sides. Two drinks. <laughs> Two Mountain Dews. Yeah, for each hand. Um, big storage, got USB back in that. Uh, wow. This should have parachute pulls, I believe. Yes, yes. Right here. So, super nice, super nice. Uh, big windows, again, we've talked about them being squared off. We really like the way these are looking. Finishing out this big um, slide here on the front, it's gonna be your booth dinette it is going to have storage on both sides <clears throat> and of course this will make into additional sleeping if you need it and i know you you would rather have table and chair 
I would prefer table and chairs, but that's a personal preference. That's why they make so many of these floor plans. Exactly. Different strokes for different folks. Well, um, go ahead. You do have a light fixture up above it. Now, I'm going to come back well, here. The world's all moved. Oh, dear. To the beat of this one, <laughs> I'm going to take a little seat right here, and you can see my beanie reflected in the, in the TV there. But this is what your view is going to be to your entertainment center. Nice big TV. You do have a sound bar below it and um one of these new fireplaces Glass. yeah that are that are sort of mirrored so i like really like those Ooh. um and i know you're probably thinking something about that just looks different and okay. we'll show you what it is because your pantry is behind it oh my and that is oh and a motion sensor light so that is and a, this thing here will swing way out of the way way out of the way so you've got this big door you've got this big pantry long that's long shelves that's 48 inches at least mm -hmm. so yeah and there's a little lip on each one so to keep your items from moving during transport so wow really nice um, moving on into the kitchen here. Now, all of this is also on a slide. Your microwave, of course, is going to be mounted up there. Yep. Additional um, plug-in, USB. Not solid surface countertops in these, but these are really nice wrapped edge. Um, and they're not, they're, they're slightly rounded, so they're not your traditional square. You are going to have a three-burner cooktop with an oven, and there is a matching drawer under this one. Yeah. Coming around, let's see, three more drawers over here. Wow. Yeah, big drawers. These are big drawers. And easy gliding, too, I'm talking. Here on your um, island is where your sink is going to be with a high-rise faucet. I am liking these new two-tone colors. Um, I, some people may not like those. Hey, leave me, a, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about the two-tones. Um, good storage underneath your sink here. Plenty of room for a garbage can. And then you've got a couple of shelves over here on this side. Wow, big island. Um, let's see. There's a light here. Oh, oh yes, you, there. you have accent lighting down there on the floor. Cool. I always like to see what those buttons do. Plug in down here. <laughs> he was just one of those kids, don't touch, and I, you touched yes, it. Yes, I did. One yeah. day I'm gonna get in trouble. Uh, 12 volt compressor fridge with the freezer on top. Do have an AC unit in here, and as if the pantry behind the TV wasn't enough. Hey, wow, you got a little more. Over you here. have another one. So, That's so cool. You've got lots of storage in this kitchen area mm. here, but we're not finished with it yet. You also have a coffee bar over here, and there's storage up above it, and there is some storage and our below. Our egg would fit right in there, wouldn't it? It would slide right in there for Ooh. transport. Um, power USB, and this is a little bit taller cabinet yep. than some are so you don't have to bend over to get your coffee that way well, that's right oh controls. so we got all kinds of controls right here wow coming down the hall here oh wait we missed this coming in that they give you a coat rack well looky here right up right beside the door that's that makes sense that's a good place to put it yeah i put triple h's keys right there <laughs> better grab them yeah they'll, they'll be looking for those all right into the bathroom yes nice big shower oh um, now jeremy is six feet tall there is a skylight in the most perfect location um plenty of plenty of room uh this does have the little latch here so you can latch your doors when you're going down the road you got the little seat where you get tired yes oh i'm so tired not a very big step up so it's fairly easy to get in and out of foot flush toilet here is in a good position you got lots of leg room around it your linen closet over here has actually got doors on it love to see doors on your linen closet and there's even more hooks in here yeah a lot of manufacturers leave the doors off i leave I it open and uh, i like i like doors things slide around when the doors are open <laughs> right over here is a medicine cabinet it does have a mirror on it um They've upgraded the faucet in here, so yeah. it's another two-tone faucet. That's pretty cool. I, I really like those. Um, nice nice counter area over here. Good room to put your um, face soaps and toothbrushes and 
contact lens and all that good stuff. You mean upgrade yours? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> Storage below it and your tissue paper holder is already in place. And you've got a perfect slot right there for a little waste basket. Somebody told it butt napkins. Oh, let's not go there. Moving on into the main bedroom. Uh, this is going to have a Versatilt bed. So wow. this is going to be a king size bed. Um, this is new for 24. It is new. Versatilt. And I... Goodness gracious. I, I've got to just back up again and show you. Look at all of this floor space that this gives you wow. in here. That's just amazing. You've got this dresser here at the foot of the bed that has three good size drawers and a laundry area. If you want to add a TV back here, your backer and everything is going to be here and um, all your connections are ready to go. Oh, I got you got to see this. And yes. Okay, this this is a huge closet. Wow. Um, let's see, is it washer, dryer, washer, dryer? Oh, yeah, washer on this washer side. Washer on this side. Dryer on that side. Yes, there's your dryer vent. Uh, it's already marked. So you got a shelf all the way across. You've got a cubby up there, hanging area. Another oh, one right here. But look at all this. And this is just huge. I mean, you can put all kinds of storage bins back here. 15 cats. <laughs> or our one large fat dog will fit back here. Um, again, you plug in up there for your dryer, over here for your washer. So, wow. Just a huge, huge closet. This one is gonna have a second AC unit in it. And now when the bed is in the down position, you'll see that you've got some little nightstands on both sides. There's some um, open cubby areas. I love this headboard. That's, yeah, I like it. that's new, I haven't that's seen new. that. Um, again, these squared off windows in here with the shades that are in the frames. <laughs> I am just absolutely in love with that. And, and all your heat vents are in your walls. In the walls. Nothing in your floors. Right. And this has got another power and USB here. And let's see if there's... Uh, yes. Now, see, there is storage underneath. This is what we could not get to from the outside because it was locked. But you do have that. And then you've got uh, wow. these fabric bins here. So, awesome storage back here. This okay, is just... I like this. Yes, uh, the Hemisphere really hit the nail on the head with this one. They did a, a great job with this one. Another quick look around in here. All right, everybody. If you like this uh, Salem Hemisphere, the dealership's information will be down in our description. And like always, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us a thumbs up. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody.